All right, it's January 19th, 2022. We're in Cornelius, North Carolina, looking at their Veterans Memorial. Nice little memorial they have here in town, as you can see. Hadn't been to Cornelius in a long time. That building there looks to be the town hall. I hadn't seen that before. There used to be some old buildings right in this area. Down through here, I know there was one here on the right, one of the original buildings that's gone now. I guess to make room for the new building there. Not many old buildings left here in Cornelius. You can see, see, see a few over there. Bailey Market, and I think it's Eco Green. They've always been there across the railroad tracks. This big work, live, play development. That's all new. Since I've been here, they were building it the last time I was here. There used to just be a big old field over there. Houses all back in there, and there's an old covered bridge that connects the development going into Davidson there that I just left. Wind's blowing today, so I'm going to try to keep it blocked with my coat. I don't know how good I'm going to do. This town's not very big, so it's not going to take very long, I don't think. Yeah, Cornelius got its start basically because of a, this dirt road right here. If you follow that dirt road all the way into Davidson, there's a hill going up into Davidson, and there was, this was just farmland out here. You get Potts Farm, I think maybe. I can't remember the names of the families, but they were two uh, weighers, I guess, that weighed the cotton. I don't, I'm not sure what they did, but in Davidson, and uh, Davidson side, they wanted to have one official weigher, so there's a big dispute about it in Davidson, and then uh, they had a vote and one 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 of the companies won the other one came out here and set up shop an old building right down here somewhere i doubt it's still here but it really hurt davidson because of that hill i talked about because when it drained it was muddy and rutted and it was just mud you know there wasn't no dirt road gravel road or nothing they'd have to go up that mill hauling all their cotton and uh they'd get slick muddy and take a chance of getting hurt and so they just decided It'd be easier to come down here, Cornelius. And uh, no boys that set up shop down here got smart and they borrowed some money from a man named Cornelius and built them a mill. And that's kind of how the town got started. And it, what it is today. There's no mills here anymore, but the town is still here. And a dirt road, really, a muddy dirt road kind of helped it get it start. It seemed like this town was called something else. Before it was called Cornelius. I, I can't remember what that is. That old Cashin's gas station, while it's updated, has been here a long time. Looks like they updated their buildings though to match with the Walgreens there. The town is basically, you don't, you know, it's, it's all new. Everything's new. They tore down most of the old stuff. And those buildings over there by the railroad tracks are still the original. Let me go over there and we'll check them out. I tell you what, the wind is blowing so bad down there. I'm not going to go down there. Just a, it's just a little strip mall type of businesses down there. But it, it's been there the whole time. And basically, all these new buildings have t taken over. If you go on this road right here through town, it used to just be houses up through here. But now it goes over to 77 toward Lake Norman. And uh, all kinds of new businesses. They used to be a warehouse over here, I think. It's torn down. They got that new building there. So I had to cross over the street here to show you this town hall. Huge with these columns. Seems a little too big for a small town like this. I, mean, I don't like these big town halls. They set themselves up to be like the king on a hill type, <laughs> castle on a hill type buildings. That's, that's what I get out of it. I know that might not make sense to you, but sometimes it gives me the feeling that the people working inside are getting a little bit uppity. I could be wrong, so if you're working there, my apologies. I just don't see a need for a giant town hall like that. Now, some of them incorporate their police departments into a big building. That makes more sense, but they got two big buildings. <laughs> don't hate me for thinking that. I like the town halls being a town center, though, and they've done that, and that's great. Some of them are moving them out, out of the town centers, next to parks like Troutman and... We built a nice town 
hall and park out there, but they kind of left their town crumbling a little bit. It's getting better, but uh, I mean, it'd have been better if they'd have built their town hall right in some, some of them old buildings and motivate their owners there to fix them up, in my opinion. All right, we're on milling way. The winds died down just a bit. They got a food line right over there. And these buildings right here are work live buildings. They were one of the first businesses to come in here. And I can remember, because my wife and I thought about buying one. She's, we were going to live upstairs, and she's going to open up the salon downstairs. We decided against it. We thought they were going to build a cane center for the arts over there, back there where the warehouses were. Yeah, this town is going to continue to grow uh, right along with Charlotte. It's on the I-77 corridor, corridor going up toward Lake Norman along with Huntersville. You have Cornelius. Uh, Davis and Mooresville, all these towns are exploding. And you're getting a, a lot of people want to move there. A little congestion for me, that's kind of why I moved up toward Lexington. You see a lot of these buildings don't have businesses in them on the bottom. And I think they finally split them up where you could sell the tops and not the bottoms. If I'm wrong, somebody can correct me on that. Got a realty store right there. A boutique right here. Seems like that's been there a while. Let's get back out in this wind. Yeah, it's called Meeting Street Homes and Communities. I think, I think they weren't too bad back in the day, maybe 250. I hate to think what they are now. That Edward Jones building's been here. Wow, these old buildings over here have been there, as you can see. You can see somebody did a salon right there. Hello, Honey Beauty Bar. <coughs> They got public grounds coffee in there and they're working on the other half. That's good. Got a glamour store over there. Looks like it's got dresses in it. And they're working on the building to the right. Got the Temple Self Care Studio. Day one salon, so you can see a lot of People had the same idea that we had. Photography, Art Nut Studio, and Sunset Slush, Lake Norman. Classic Italian ice. And then brand name consignment over there. This old house is for sale over there. A lot of people put businesses in the old, these old houses, especially if you go down to the end of the street and turn left and go toward Davidson. Just about every house on the left along the way has been turned into some kind of restaurant or boutique shop. They got Carolina Cones down here. Great place to get ice cream. You can see right here somebody's bought fixed up this house since the last time I've been through. It's still a home. You can see some of the homes out through there. We're Cataba Avenue now. Meridian. cocktails place right there oh it's not a house anymore it's a law firm so you can see that's what they do turn these houses into businesses <clears throat> Cornelius did good with this street right here because it was just a two-lane street <clears throat> excuse me back in the day and it's all houses out through there and there's a school out there but they came through here and streetscaped it all the way up to 77 and made it real beautiful down through there and they put these street lights in and that really boosted the look of the area and businesses started really coming in down through there. I think every town, you know, if they're a little bit away from the interstate, should make a corridor like this going into their, into their town. It's just beautiful down through here. I'm not going to walk out any further. Uh, the school's out there. Like I said, I-77's out there. If you cross I-77, go to Lake Norman. The Peninsula's out there. Down Jaton Road. I used to live out the time road years ago when it was just country two-lane road there wasn't no peninsula there just regular little small houses lived out there for a long time down at the end there had some fun out there man is it grown now and the entry to get in on the lakefront property out there is pretty high now but uh, got a good a lot of good memories out there so anyway this is Cornelius like I say 
They've saved a few old buildings, but for the most part, you come here, it's going to seem like it's all brand new and got that great big work live play bit place over there where people are moving in. It's a great town. Come out and visit them. Cornelius, North Carolina. Hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.